that it has been approved and was approved March 28th of this year. Okay? I know a lot of people don't know. We know it. We know it. So the issue is in terms of the air conditioning. Number one fact, there's not enough power in the school right now to power air conditioning. She said that. I understand that. Let me just help you out. Please, wait. Listen, this is not a good idea. I want to help you out. I'm not a big fan. Okay? One second. Listen, no, you don't have to. Let her speak. He's cooperating with the school. I'm sorry, but this isn't the way it works. He's cooperating. He's getting bad feedback. He's cooperating. In case anybody wondered. No, he's cooperating. Seriously, that's fine. We just need to get out more. Okay? We've called Con Ed to that point. We've called Con Ed, and we've said, what are you guys doing? Okay? Let's get focused on this. Let's get the facts so that we understand what's going on. Okay? That feedback has not come back yet from Con Edison. This all happened last week. We'll continue to push. Do you need the elected officials to help? I'm sure it's the – everybody can help. On the issue of – so then the issue is once you get the power into the building, how do you distribute it throughout the building? Okay? We've asked SCA for plans on what has been done to date to accomplish that job. As of right now, all we have is four plans of the school. We're not clear on whether or not any work has been done to design such a system. The short answer is we don't know. So to the judge's point, we are trying to cooperate. We are trying to find out the facts, and we will continue to do that. That's what we want. All right. Okay. So wait. We're going to – now, since we've got that, and then there was – who else, Joe? Was it from – Kate Turley. Yes, right. Oh, please go ahead. 